New Mexico is known for its wide open spaces, but that's not the same concept of space that habitat managers use when they are trying to meet the needs of wildlife. After ensuring a good arrangement of food, water, and shelter, habitat managers who don't see a wildlife population flourish may diagnose that there's a limiting space problem. When we talk about space as a habitat component for wildlife, we're talking about elbow room. If it's too crowded, the wildlife will not thrive. If there are too few animals, breeding success will be marginal. Crowding issues can be regulated with hunting. On the other hand, when there are too few animals, funds from the Habitat Stamp Program can be used for trapping and transplanting projects. The Habitat Stamp Program funds pronghorn, deer, beaver, turkey, and bighorn sheep transplants to start populations or to augment existing ones. Hunting is a, a tool, a management tool, that really is, is looking at the space requirement of animals. So if, you, if let's just say we have a deer herd and they have too many deer, well then they're less thrifty because now that herd is competing with each other for the available food, water, and cover. So therefore, if you remove some of those animals, there's more food, water, and cover for the remaining animal. The Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep living in the Pecos wilderness near Willer Peak in northern New Mexico are thriving. The population is being managed through hunting and also trapping and transplanting the sheep to other areas that are less populated. The sheep seen here are being released in far northeastern New Mexico after being captured by net checked out by vets and loaded into a trailer for a four-hour drive to their new home. You don't want to be at that carrying capacity, the maximum number, because you will get long-term degradation of the habitat, and, or it's easy to, to go there if, if we have a good lamb crop, and they, then they just really suppress the, the plant growth and, uh, and start damaging the habitat. Since its inception, the Habitat Stamp Program has helped fund more than 17 wildlife transplants with almost 1,500 animals relocated. Balancing populations isn't easy, and that's why biologists, land managers, and others with the Department of Game and Fish, U.S. Forest Service, and the Bureau of Land Management deeply appreciate the financial and volunteer support of the Habitat Stamp Program.